Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel for the third battle of our cute cute boy Yamaka Shikanosuke in Sengoku Basara 4 Sumeragi. So um, those of you who actually noticed, I actually got him a new weapon which looks very very eerie with the glow. So without further ado, we shall go take out both of them in their feud of whatever issue that they're going on about. I have no freaking idea. I haven't been into the anime or the uh, previous game for such a long time that probably to me this is gonna be a new experience too. Like, I do know what happened when I was um, intruding into the uh, place as other characters, but apparently this particular battle style is kind of. I don't know, it, it's, it's kind of new to me. I might be a douchebag or an idiot, but. I don't know. All, the only reason I also choose this is because it's one of the shorter battles. And if I remember correctly, um, our good old Wish Kamisuke doesn't have a very long storyline to begin with. Like, he's like um, Ishida Mitsunari's storyline, it's kind of short. Like, some characters actually get a sixth battle, but uh, I think he's the, he's like the Ishida storyline only getting five. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but we will find out eventually when we actually proceed into the, I guess, the next battles, if you may. Uh, so basically what I'm doing here right now is, I'm not rushing through, but like I've mentioned before, it's actually just me trying to show off the unique battlefields that uh, actually have mo much more to learn and see from if you're actually playing the character featured in the battle, like as in a dramatic line. Or maybe the um, storyline, depending on what. Speaking of the animation line, which was what I called storyline two seconds ago, there's only three characters left with the animation ending, which, um, if I haven't, like, remember uh, wrongly, it's supposed to be, I think it's like Choso Kabe Moto Chika, and then there is uh, Mori no Motonari, and what's his face? Ah, Shima Sakon. Since I love Sakon so much, he's definitely gonna be the one last. Um, for playing the animation line, and you know, I, could, I could never have enough of seeing myself as a bomber, man, but because it's just fun, like how you shit down bombs, and yeah, so, I don't know, like, this is one of those, like, cooler aspects, I guess, although it's very disruptive, but hey, for Bizarro World, it is a what the fridge, I still get to extend my Bomberman status. You know what, since I'm already in this position, I'm definitely gonna try bomb him to death. Just to show off how good my skills are when I'm a bomber. Come on, don't be shy. Let me bomb your face. Yeah, so I still don't really remember or get the reason why they're in a dispute, but well, I'm trying my very, very best. I can't even find my target enemy. I want to bomb him to death, which probably could not be like fulfilled because um, I only get 45 seconds of my transformation. But hey, at least I bomb him to like I bombed away 80% of his health. That's what I'm trying to say. And I got a level up out of that, so that's a um, very, um, I guess, encouraging for me. But hey, huh? Wow, that's some crazy Shinobi teleportation, Star Trek, some kind of shit going on down there. So, yep. I guess I was glad I chose this battle because it's definitely a little bit different from what we've seen before. So, yep, that's good. Well, hey, that was um, something unique to this particular character, too. Who the frick is shooting me, damn it? 
I don't care if you're another school or whatever the fuck you are. I'm just gonna like, beat your ass and crack it up into two bitches. Uh, so basically what I'm saying is... Uh, I like how she's like... He's like, you weird boy, what are you doing? I don't care if you're searching for someone and like, blah, I'm gonna kill your ass, but... Yeah. You know, it looks really awkward and eerie when you see these um, nunchucks of glowing golden, like, spheres is just funny. And I can't believe she just died, like, 15 seconds into the confrontation with me. Oh, yeah. She's always having the little last say. It's like, oh my god, you're, you're just doing fine. But next time if I see you, I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm like, no, bitch, you're still gonna lose because I'm the main character that I control, I play. Unless I purposely want to lose to you, you're definitely gonna be ass whoop de doot. And have a lot of Shinobis just storming at me. Ooh, you try, you try to land on my ass. You try to put me down, don't you? Well, I'm sorry, man. I I'm the man with the big, big, big blade that's actually longer than my torso. Actually, my whole body in general is shorter than the blade, which was kind of weird. But, uh, well, I don't care. So, unexpectedly, I guess the final battle would be me against the uh, Yuki I don't remember that as much. Hey, it's Yamamoto Kansuke. Yeah, because I have my deer, so I'm definitely gonna win this battle according to Shikanosuke. Nope, Yukimura can't save your ass from the wrath of the deer. Oh, that was bad. Shit, son, you ain't scaring me with your two little barbecue sticks, man. Like, yeah, I'm gonna go all, like, LSD on my deer and completely go nuts. Damn it, man, like, this don't tell me this doesn't look like LSD, man, because I am just everywhere. And that's just one hell of a way to end this episode with me in a LSD Silent Hill type of trip. Damn it. <laughs> well, one more place to investigate it. Oh god, I had a feeling this is one of the shortest episodes ever I have done, but hey, at least we found out more about our lost friend, I guess? これだけ探して思い出せ。あ。そういえば事件発生の数日前、春様は夕げで鉱物の鯖の塩焼きが出ないことにご不満を漏らしていた。もしや今回の失踪事件、その腹いせに自ら姿を隠し、家臣ともとも困らせてや
界の虎が仁王だってます。お尋ね者発見、お縄にしましょう。Ooh, this is definitely where I'm gonna be going in the next episode because it's the、um, dramatic line.、And、definitely, I'll finish the dramatic line first, like the usual drill, and come back to the anime ending. So, once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in my next episode. Peace out, folks!